Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld. We are currently uh, re-healing up Nata here so that we can take out, in theory, another kidney? Or I don't know, we don't even need the kidney. We could probably just leave. Um, right now we're just healing her up so we don't feel guilty about her death. Uh, yeah, we could try to remove the other kidney. One of them is crushed, but we're repairing that now. Um, we might as well try to get it before we leave. Do we already have a negative debuff for taking out a kidney? Oh, well, yeah, you're, you're sad about it, obviously. Yeah, I think this would, I think we don't need another negative five. I think we don't need the kidney. I think we just leave, but we'll get Buchanan's medicine up a little bit. We might as well, you know, make sure Nata, Nata doesn't bleed out here. Um, and then get out of here. You're in no immediate danger. Uh, you'll probably be okay. Birdie Bot's healing up over here. You're all healed. You're all healed. You're probably just not happy about sleeping in the rain and being in intense pain. But actually, you just had a catharsis, and you have extremely low expectations for some reason. Oh, and an awful bedroom. <laughs> yes, this rainy jungle is certainly an awful bedroom. Um, okay. All right, how are we doing, Nata? Nada. We're getting there. I just figure, I don't want to leave her. We already, she's been through enough. We've been her, we've gotten her through the ringer here. All right. Heal up that kidney. Let's speed things up a little bit. And, oh, you're leaving the kidney for last. Nice. All right, there you go. All right, I think you're fine now. Let's get out of here. Um... Let's do it. So we got our items. We're going to reform the caravan. We're going to bring our muffalo. We are not going to bring Nata. No, thank you. Um, but we will bring all the meals we found. Don't know if we need to bring the agave. Um, oh, whatever. It's not much. Uh, of course, we bring the medicine. We will bring the marble table. It weighs five, but we've got plenty of mass space. Um, Capacity, I should say, not space. Uh, dead, dead. Uh, we're bringing the lung, bring the bionic arm. We're not bringing the wooden club, but we'll bring this here. Sniper rifle, right, that's our sniper rifle. Yeah, we'll bring all these weapons. They don't weigh that much. Oh yeah, the legendary revolver, which is worth a lot and may actually be a good weapon. Um, yeah, and we'll bring those Molotovs. Those are in good condition. Uh, all of the clothes, oh no, not all. Uh, some of the clothes are not tainted. We will bring untainted clothes. Um, I think those are the only three. Can I? Uh... Yeah, that's tainted. This is tainted. Okay. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. I think we got it all. Okay. Let's get out of here. Go home. 1.6 days. We have only one day of food. I think we'll be okay. If we start going a little... What? Oh, yeah, that's fine. We didn't want that prisoner. Um, beer going home. Good. All right, Dave, you immediately have a negative... Lots of people have negative moods because someone's organ was harvested. And we... Prisoner banished to death? That's, that is a lie. Um, the prisoner was fine. Oh, I guess I should have just released them before I went. Uh, expires in six days. Yeah, that's a lot longer than I would have thought. I clearly should have released Nata. I didn't realize that that was a thing. I've never gotten this debuff before. Um, this is also a lie. I mean, assuming we leave that door open, the prisoner can, we healed her up. She can break out of prison. No problem. She's going to be fine. That's a lie. <laughs> I, apparently, Nata died, according to the game. We're probably not going to see her again. Meritrix is working on advanced components over here. Um, yeah, our birdie bot is uh, coming back home. Yeah, so that was un an unfortunate negative debuff that we didn't want. Um, and, of course, the organ harvested was, uh, was something that we did want. You know, it's uh, just a negative thing that we were going to, knew we were going to suffer, but worth it. But the banished to death, not great. 
Not the best. Um, yeah, Catherine's still happy. She, yeah, she's going to be happy she was rescued for a while, which is great. Dorothling, you're meditating. Very nice. Uh, bionic heart. Lovely. Who are we going to give this bionic arm to? Oh, we just got. Who deserves one? Um, maybe Meritrix because of your thumb. I think we've talked about this before. Um, certainly of the ones that we current, of the folks that we currently have in our base, but it's possible that Buchanan, Civilian, or Birdie Bot might want it too. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, Buchanan does have a gunshot in your hand, but I think it's going to be more valuable for Meritrix, who does crafting. Um, although Birdie Bot does some of that. You're fine, though. You do have uh, some foot injuries, right, but otherwise you're fine. And Civilian is, um, a body purist, so she doesn't want anything. Okay. Then I think we're definitely going to give that to Meritrix and replace Meritrix's thumb. Um, when we bring that back. That'll be lovely. Lovely, lovely. We have um, a decent amount of meat in here. Of all different kinds. Uh, just a decent amount of veggies. We are making and eating a lot of food. We do have over 5,000 pemmican. Which is pretty awesome. So really, we're just... Once Birdie, Buchanan, Civilian, and Birdie Bot come back... Um, we are making flat clothes and stuff. And we do want to keep doing that. But we could leave here whenever we feel like it. And maybe we should do that. Well, once they get back, well, I guess we'll take an assessment. Um, and see what we can carry. But it might be time. All right, let's speed things up here. Uh, maybe we'll wait till we get both of these prisoners. Oh, uh, right. We got Yegor and we got Tico. Kind of forgot that we got both of them. So we only have Kim left. So we can get rid of uh, these. Um, can I assign the bed? No, I can't. But you'll. I, I assume Kim will just use it. Um... Ravenously hungry. Oh, you're eating now. Um, yeah, so once we get you, Kim, maybe we'll get out of here. Uh, yes, need to set Tico and Igor's food and drug policies. Other than that, you're fine, I think. Um, and I know Tico constructs. Neither of you craft right now. I mean, you have passion, but you're not you're not going to do it. You're pretty upset by all these things. Unsightly environment. We're working on it. All right. Um, yeah, let's speed things up. Uh, I guess everyone's sleeping right now. Uh, I also thought, uh, realized we might need, before we leave, we might need to make some more bed rolls. Um, we have, I think, four on the road right now. And then we have six and storage. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen colonists. So we need at least three more. All right. Um, right. And we make that with the furniture screen. Bed roll. Um,. Not cloth. Uh, we definitely have more muffalo wool than it. Actually, we do have a lot of cloth. That's not wrong, but no, let's do muffalo wool. We still have some Nutramine to make medicine. Um, I would like more storage. Out of curiosity, do any of the do any of these things not have negatives when they're just lying there? No, they all do. Even beds have negative one when they're just lying there. Bed rolls. Dorkling is hiding in room. Why? Because of your tattered apparel? You were just meditating. Oh, you're barely at the break risk. Barely at the minor break risk. 
I know you were hiding in the in the prison room. You were probably trying to recruit Kim. Who how much progress? Yeah, resistance remaining is not much. Uh the store's gonna close, right? Okay. <laughs> um Okay. Do I want to expand the storage? The mad dough. Okay. Uh, I'll let that mad dough get closer. Because it is pretty far away. And then I'll just have a bunch of people come out and kill it. Hmm. Um, I kind of totally lost tr track of my train of thought. Uh, yeah, Dorkling's hiding in room, in her own room. Um, right. Uh, do we want to expand storage so we can put bed rolls down? I guess so. It would be great to get rid of some of this stuff. But I can just make... Yeah. We might just... Add a storage area here. Make this a long corridor. Why not? Yeah, do that. Chop that down. Uh, all right, where's that dough? There you are. Taking your time. Yeah, maybe by the time you get up here, it'll be time to wake up. <laughs> Arenic's awake. Dorkling's awake, but hiding. Meritrix is awake. Making those flak pants. Are you sleepy? I guess not. Am I going to want people to wake up prematurely if they don't have to? I mean, right now everyone's inside. This doe's going to come up here and not really do anything. As long as I keep people inside. Uh, Rinnick, you can... You have time to cross. Uh, and Tico is coming out. Tico doesn't even have a weapon. Uh, we should give you a melee weapon. I don't think I have another uranium mace, do I? Steel mace. Um, do I make another uranium mace for you? Maybe. Yes? Uranium mace. Uh, mace. It's not here. It's uh, it's here, right? One more. Out of uranium. Okay. Let's do it. Oh wait, wasn't I gonna give, give you um grenades? Oh, I gave Igor grenades. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's fine. Yeah, we'll get Tico melee. Um, but I'm a little worried about the doe coming up here now. Is Tico going to have time to run? Why don't you just stay tight here for a bit, Tico? All right, so this, this doe is not really doing anything. Just kind of run, it's just wandering around because everyone's inside. Gert is up. Gert has a gun. You can do this, Gert. See if you can get a good shot in. Uh, what's your range on this thing? Uh, it's... All right, here he comes. Oh, nope. Okay. Where are you going, Doe? All right, Tico, I don't care anymore. Just do whatever you want. Uh, I guess for the meantime, grab a weapon... I guess a poor steel mace is better than nothing. Um, awful, awful. Uh, a poor plasteel gladius is probably better. Go do that. All right, come on, Gert, you can do this. Where is it? Where are you going, Doe? All right, here it comes. 
No, and we'll see how we've. This is going to be our first shot that we fired with our charge lance. Never, never done this. Okay, definitely faster than a sniper rifle, but we did miss. All right, get in there, Tico. Oh, careful, Meritrix. Uh, Tango's consuming meal. Uh, before you do that, come out here. Nice, Gert. Nice. Death in 12 hours. Oh, sweet. Gert, that was great. Three shots, two of them hit, things down. Uh, Tango's, you dropped your meal. Go eat that. Um, and Meritrix, do whatever. All right. That worked out. Um, no problem. That was a good kill. Oh, Gert was making this jacket. Okay, yeah, because we have Gert doing a little more crafting now, right? No, you still are have mining on as a first priority. But I guess we don't. Uh, we turned off most mining because I think we have plenty of steel we've mined out. We're just not dragging it in. Yeah, that's fair. Very fair. So I would like Gert, Gert to do more crafting. Unhappy nudity, Tico. Uh, well, that, I'm sure Tico is fixing that. Great, wearing flak pants. That's wonderful. And you're constructing. I like Tico. All right. Uh, awful steel gladius. Let's go to the poor plasteel one. I think even though this one has more hit points, probably. I'd love to sell more weapons. If we can get another, um, you know, uh, merchant, that would be great. All right. Our carry event should be moving again. 0.6 days. Yeah, and days of food, 0.5. You're going to be fine. Just fine. All right, Dorkling, snap out of it. That was that was the most weak sauce break I've ever seen. You're right on the line of a minor break risk. Okay. Where are we going to put this table? Well, we get it. It's kind of table we might even bring with us. Um, like we could put it in here, I guess. Could put it in the dining room somewhere. Could put it in here, in the kitchen. I don't know if people get like positive buffs for like a really nice kitchen or a nice workshop. Um, oh, that counts as a dining room. Oh, and this counts as a tomb. And we can't just easily move this. That's interesting. Uh, beauty's ugly. Yeah, we could just put it in the, in the dining room. Ooh, a transport pod crash. A medieval doctor named Vulture like Spider-Man, is crashing into a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Vulture is from the Galga of the Plain. If you rescue him, he may join freely. Otherwise, he will return home and spread goodwill between your factions. Win-win. Or you can capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes, but this will anger the faction. Okay, Vulture. Ooh, you're frail. That is bad. You're probably old. Yeah, you're 79. Um, with asthma. Death in eight hours. Oh, and you're a masochist, though, and mind-shattering pain. Uh, usually older folks have a lot of skill, but you're not that great. And you're abrasive and a masochist. Great memory is nice, but um, it's not like we don't already have a lot of doctoring skill. So we'll take you back, of course. Oh, good. You're not far from us. Um, Renick Rescue Vulture here. And uh, and we'll heal you up, and we'll probably send you off. If you want to join us, I don't know. You, I don't think you can deny people to join you. I mean, the fact that you're frail, which gives minus 30% moving and minus 30% manipulation, that's going to make you a bad hauler and bad cleaner. It's going to make you really bad at everything. You're just old. So I don't know if we can just, like, exile or just say, like, we don't want you. We'll patch you up. Yeah, hurry up, Rennick. Um, 
but I might need to heal you without medicine, depending on how badly you're bleeding out. Let's see here. Death in seven hours. Um, I'm just going to heal you without meds. I just want to do it. And um, I might take your clothes after that. Get something out of it. Well, actually, your clothes are probably just... Oh, you have a parka and pants and a devil string t-shirt. That's nice. All right, never mind. I thought you were going to be wearing tribal wear. Because you're from Galga the Plain, but I guess not. Yeah, and we don't want to replace your lungs. We really don't want you. But we'll heal you up. You've been healed up. Yeah, we're not wasting medicine on you either. I don't think they get mad if we take your clothes. Naked, minus six. Yeah, but you're a masochist in mind-shattering pain, so you're fine. Um, before you go play horseshoes, Rennick, I'd rather you bring the um, Devil Strand shirt. That's I think that's the nicest article there that someone might actually want to wear. Okay. Uh, folks are harvesting rice. That's fine. Corn's going to be ready soon as well. And then hopefully Gert can get back to construction. Meritrix is making... Oh, that mace. That uranium mace. Wonderful. Almost done. Look at all our components. It's beautiful. Um, so this will be for Tico. And this helps Meritrix crafting as well. Which is 11 right now. Not bad. Come on. There you go. Bill complete. Who's Bill? Uh, oh, T right. Tico is doing the animal training. I forgot about that. Oh, it's excellent, and it has art on it. An engraving on this weapon is shaped like actors playing dice. A deer floats behind the focal point. Almost every shape in the image seems to be triangular. Death Shadow. Actually, this is so good. I want to give it to um, one of our better melee fighters. Probably Birdie Bot, who was our best melee fighter. And then uh, Birdie Bot's mace can go to Tico. When Birdie Bot comes back... Which is just in um, 0.3 days. But I think that's going to happen next episode. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.